Okay, so I ended up doing a little bit of a different video this week since I forgot to post my video last week because I was not feeling well. So I combined my bell ringing ceremony with my port removal surgery. I just felt like it was a good kind of flow to go from my official end of treatment to um, getting the port out and being absolutely done. Um, I also have a video coming because I had my Make-A-Wish lunch today. So. I just wanted to kind of explain what was going to be happening and these clips are from different days. I'm going to try to put the dates down in the clips as I edit because I don't remember if I said them or not. I had two braids this way but then they came out so I just tried to rebraid stuff but today's my bell ringing ceremony and these are my pajamas right now is what I'm wearing but I'll show you what I'm actually going to wear in a minute because I'm really excited and I just did my eye makeup because I'm wearing a mask so but I'm gonna go ring a bell and then after I get a pick where I want to eat so this is the fit and I got my pants I love these pants there's so many buttons on them oh my gosh I don't you can't see anything these are my pants I got them from Romwe I got this shirt from Romwe also and then this is my mom's sweater I have no idea where it's from my hair still looks like a lion's mane so oh I got my uh, Apple watch yesterday I'm in the car right now with my sisters. My hair still looks like a lion, but that's okay because it's just fluffy. And half of it's up in a ponytail, so it's crazy. But I'm in the car right now, and we're heading to the hospital to go do my bell ringing. About to go do it. Hi, Kyan. Yeah? Okay. All right, Ellie! <laughs> morning it is 9 48 and i'm going to the hospital to get surgery today i look really tired because i didn't wake up early because i had to stop eating at 6 30 so i can't eat until after my surgery now we're going to be leaving in a little bit and i'm just wearing some comfy clothes so um i didn't update you after my surgery because i like fell asleep and did not feel good at all it is now 7 47 the next day and i'm not crying some sadder in pain i'm crying because the anesthesia is making me very just crying <laughs> but anyway i'm in a little bit of pain i got a iv in my hand my throat hurts because they had to put like it was a really small tube but they had to put a tube down my mouth to make sure i could breathe while i was in under anesthesia and i will show you guys my port um my like actual port later because we got to keep it but i'm gonna put um i'm gonna give a warning right now i'm gonna show my port scar um right now more after they took it out so I'm going to give anyone who wants to leave five seconds. Okay. Here it is. I know. It hurts. It's like they, the nurse said there's two dissolvable stitches in there and then it's super glued to or medical glue together. It hurts pretty bad if I move my arm, but it's not too painful. I'm taking... Benadryl and stuff and yesterday I'm only allowed to eat like bland food right now but I am feeling better and it should they said it should completely flake off like the glue should in the next two weeks it is looking a lot better so I'm going to show you just warning it's the scar there's a bruise there's still glue on there and there's a bruise it's actually a lot better now like full mobility I'm not very nauseous full mobility in my arm um sometimes it hurts only if i like touch it or do a certain motion but it's way better now and i actually healed up pretty fast um there's still glue on it and the nurse said it's just gonna slowly flake off bye guys